this honestly adds to the whole roleplay experience for me to have achieved excuse me what was this desperation I'd say to have achieved the uh, rank of king finally and to interact on world stage now in a different manner where we are on eye level with others would we even swear fealty to him don't share a border with him all right now that we've finished up this siege we'll finish up the next siege and that should push him to 100 or move down to attack him let's move down and attack him i feel that's a a good move to move that way we are a little bit closer to where we need to stand on our troops anyway and we might push it over the edge where did these come from i have a feeling he just raised those as higher troops no I don't understand what's going on in here at all. I think he brought he he raised his troops. That that's the blob that we just fought on accident as they came out of nothingness. Oh, would you look at that? Look at that. Oh, he can't afford his ransom. What a shame. All right. Our commanding presence on the battlefield was felt during the recent victory by friends and foes alike. The bolsters, I bolstered the spirits of our men when it was needed most, and I personally led the final charge that broke the back of the enemy army, and we'll just pretend that we personally took him prisoner as well. I feel that's a very fair description of what, I, what happened there. All right. Our good dear friend won. Okay. Sure, we'll help. You don't like us much, so we will threaten you. But no, you're, you're married to our sister, so you're standing out of everything else anyway. So let's stand on our troops and help Scotland to fight Ireland. I thought they only could call us into defensive wars. That's okay though. A strong Scotland helps us as well. Good. Go up. Our troops go again. We stand down down here. And we'll get together up there. And win the war for her. Our wife is pregnant again. Cool. Let's everyone meet up here. will take care of the Irish which are immediately going for the capital as well they should okay let's have oh no our organizers did oh that's a big shame we have another organizer no I like organizers Right then, let us have this inspiring leader lead there and the flankers take the flank and we go up here and everyone else who just arrives is going to be reinforcements following close at heel.
can go ahead over there go ahead go over there Ah, no. They're attacking our small contingent of troops here. What a cowardly attack. But they shall pay for it. Oh, a noble has distinguished himself in battle. Sadly, he's not too great. Or rather, he could be much greater, but he ain't. Right, let's start sieging this stuff down a little bit. What's this? Why are you attacking that as well? Oh, another daughter. Lovely. Okay, he's no longer incapable. That's good. Oh, would you look at all these lovely options there. King of Castile wants to go matrilineal. Prince of the Byzantine Empire. Ireland has a bit of Norway. The Ayubid have a bit of Norway. What? That can only be some succession magic going on over there. Alright, let's speed the CG work along a bit. Now, we don't want another man joining our court for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, our vassal levies are getting a little bit antsy. And we have to... We don't have to go and help the Scottish. The, the Irish are not attacking them yet. No. Can I imprison? Go marry one of my commanders. Uh, Anders? Nope. Keeper of Swans already. Re again the job. Let's get our commanders. Get your wife. Go. And the next commander has a wife. This commander also gets a wife. Get. Someone. Her, why not? So people stop asking to marry our commanders away. They're our commanders. Oh lovely! A new crusade is called. We'll never become crowned. We will be at war forever. And people are going to hate us for it. Let's siege the capital of what this is about. Maybe we can be crowned before the crusade is on, but I have a feeling the answer is no. Oh, now our cat dead. Our pet cat actually is dead. There. Those words now make sense. Uh, no. She will be buried in the garden where she loved to play. 
Okay, one more siege and we should be done here. Ah, oh, we need a crusade beneficiary. Let's give it to a woman of our dynasty. What are you? You're way far away. Our niece. Give it to a far removed woman. This one here. And... Pope can decide who gets what. I don't care. Chancellor? Strong vassal anywhere? No. But someone who loves us, dear. We'll send our troops home. We have done our job. Okay, okay. Coronate. Pope, coronate me, please. I think I removed my retinues. Oh, well. Come on, coronation. Yes, money, here. Standard ceremony. Go, go, go. Quick. Okay, people are impressed with our speech. Lovely. Come on. Quicker. Who are you even? Count of Vermondois. Uh, prisoners. Let's ransom everyone. Come on, come on. Crown. There we go. Finally, we are king. Because... The negative opinion modifier will very much come into question. And also, we finally get a crown. Didn't have one before. That's cool. Close. Alright. Um, we're not going to raise our troops this time before the crusade starts because people are already upset with us. But if we're in a crusade, people are not going to mind if we come along. Oh, cool. One of our cousins was a blessed. The passing, his passing gives us piety, clearly. So, just a moment, there will be Deus Vult. There we go. And we speed this down real quick. Raise all our troops. Which, again, shouldn't give us a negative modifier anymore. Raise all our fleet levies. You guys can stay home. You don't, you don't get to crusade. Everyone else gets to crusade, though. Oh, these are just chips. So, we send them here. Ah, uh, no. Chips we send there. Alright, so all the ships are going to meet here. Let me speed this up again. 
Oh no, that's not enough ships. Need to send more ships to pick up the king. All right. Jerusalem is what we're fighting for, so to Jerusalem we shall sail. A ringleader here, us there, and them there. Dream team is back together. Chancellor. Take someone who works well. We don't really need them anyway. They don't get opinions anymore. I think in all the Monarch's journeys we have done so far, this is probably the crusade where we have the weightiest possibility of contribution. Because we bring actually a, a sizable army here. So let's check these out. These are sl still going down, down as you can see, so this is great. Uh, since vassals don't care if you take them into a crusade. Well, they don't care is probably a little bit too harsh to say, too strong, but... They certainly don't mind as much. Quite a few more military geniuses here. And out the titles accordingly. So what are you good at? Let's go with stewardship education. He has a lot of traits that work for that. Why is our son betrothed to our niece? What is that? Oh, I think we wanted to get rid of his factionalism. I think that's what that was about. How old is she? 20. Now she will be way too old. We'll break the betrothal. And find him someone better. Uh, yeah, can we find someone who's strong maybe? And of an acceptable age as well. Somewhere around 9 or so, that's nice. Strong Irish girl. Yeah, let's get a strong Irish girl here. Right then. It's already occupied by people? Yeah, apparently. So we will just jump straight in. Ah, we become a crusader, which is a lovely, lovely, lovely trait to have. People really like crusaders. So let's go take Tiberius. Ah, no. Not Tiberius. Let's keep moving a little bit. And just engage in battles here and there. We don't get attrition to hell. We'll just keep hunting the armies of Islam. And try and not attrition to hell.
Right, where can we go where we don't immediately get attritioned to hell? Here. No. This place there. That looks good. Plus there's a bunch of people to fight as well, so that's nice. We'll take care of their armies. So the supply limit here is 13,000 over there at 17,000. 21,000. We can go and siege that thing. Our troops will not be attritioned to hell in that one. Oh, hello there. A local merchant caravan approaches me on his way back home to El Arish. One of the peddlers flashes me a huge screen and asks if I want to take a look at his wares. Now, uh, let's have a little history lesson. The Crusades... During that time, during most of the Crusades, there were still some amenable contacts between Christians and Islam. Why? Because usually trade was allowed to continue. So uh, we could go ahead and buy ourselves some ruby bracelets, which would be very much in uh, the field of possibility, or we could go kill them get the ruby bracelets and become cruel and that is the correct historical reaction because if we killed a merchant caravan just because we're here that would make us cruel now cruelty is a decent trait for a uh, military leader but not so much for a leader leader because people don't like it our vassals won't enjoy it so what we're going to do is we're going to go with a historically accurate version of this event and we're going to probably either way we say no thank you or we're going to buy it and i think we deserve a little something extra right we deserve something nice the ruby bracelets there we go feudal vassal opinion plus three cool that was totally worthwhile so we want to kill this army that's what we're looking at As I come out over here. There we go. Now this is a battle for the ages. This is true warfare. This center deserves our respect. Look at how they fight. To the last man they fight. Amazing. Grand. Let's go and try siege there, maybe. We'll go quite a few troops along the way, possibly. Yes, we are. Minor skirmish. I would like to siege a bit. If I'm allowed to. That would be lovely. Okay, we are allowed to. But we'll siege this. As we settle for the night in El Arish, a comment passes overhead. The soldiers start talking excitedly what it might mean. All right, now get back to work, men. We become a taskmaster, or... We allow ourselves to have an inspirational comment. God guides our hand in this just war. Indeed. So the morale of our armies has increased. Ah, we have to help there. Nope, oh, that's the wrong guy. See. Now we go and help. Oh, 
My men find ourselves at a bar in Eilat. As evening turns to night, an attractive serving boy seems to pay me a lot of interest. And I am about to go to bed tonight. Is... Uh, am I a homosexual? Yes, I am. He is indeed attractive. Nah. We are not here to pick up foreigners. And there he died. <laughs> Vanished without a trace. Poor kid. Alright, we've won that battle as well. Let's move over here. And go back to siege work. That's what I enjoy the most. I like sieging. I know sieging well, you know. It looks like an abandoned battlefield, the dead strewn across the landscape. The Crusaders certainly met quite the resistance here in El Arish. We could bury all the Crusaders, or we could salvage some valuables. Now, we will bury them as befits our station, rank, position, wealth. I don't have many war words to describe what I'm talking about, but you get the picture. We are above such things. As we travel through, there's a whole lot of uh, events firing that I've never really seen. That's a, that's amazing. As we travel through El Arish, we come across a festival to ancient gods still celebrated by the local populace. It reminds me of some of the harvest festivals at home. We could take part and potentially lose stressed. Are we even stressed? Yes, we are. Uh, but we also lose our trade zealous, which I quite like. Okay, we could become possessed. Um, which could, would give us fertility for 20 years. But I think we'll just partake. Lose zealous. Because there's nothing good here anyway. We might lose Gregarious, which I like much more than Zealous. So we lost our Zealousy. In the middle of a crusade. Again, this is fairly accurate in what might have happened to Crusader hosts. It wasn't so cut and dry where it was just like, everyone is bad, everything is terrible. That's not how it was. Our Prince Bishop died. Oh no. Let's put in this man. Court physician. Ah, our commander. Can be our court physician. Good. Keeper of swans. This man finally doesn't hate us anymore. Not all that much anyway. So he can be our keeper of swans to make it a little bit more tenable for him to be fooled over by someone who isn't the correct government type. I understand his... So where are we at the law side of things? When can we change something again? In a year. Nice. I think we should go for religious title revocation this time. Although I like pushing the status of women. But we've yet to really see a huge death blob army of the Islamic world. There's a little bit of army coalescing up there. What have we got our sieging to do down here? So where are we at? We're at 15% contribution. What are we looking at? 12,000 gold from it. That is fantastic. We're still not here to pick up foreigners. Stop finding attractive boys. Right, where could we siege next? Here. Definitely not Cairo. Cairo can hold nothing. Ah, let's go siege here. Oh, let's let's go support the battle over there.
Let's switch around again. King on the flank. Firing leader on the center. Yeah, they're moving more armies down here, so we might actually make a mistake now. If no further crusaders come help, we are in a pickle, in a bind. Attacking into an unfavorable position. Okay, now we have the defensive <coughs> switched around. We are on the defensive side now. We have a bunch of really good leaders and there's a bit of reinforcements coming. So we'll weather the storm. We'll see what happens. Ah, they stopped their attack. So let us have our allies arrive. And as they do, hopefully... Okay, no, they don't. So we move away. Move away down here. There we have an actual big army. Let's move out of the attrition zone. And we'll just have to keep an eye on their movement there. Oh, they're still bunching up more. I think we'll get ready to move on that. Just the 4,000 attacking. But still, we'd rather make sure that the 17,000 don't jump on it. All of a sudden. We go back down here. Oh, wait. Do we control the whole army right now? I don't think so, no. I think everyone just kind of decided to go more or less the same direction. But they're not actually attached to us. We'll sit here again. We're a little bit off the beaten path. But we were just reinforced a little bit. So that's nice. A bunch more troops under our leadership. Yeah, 16%. We're doing well. well. Let's keep sieging. There we go. Catholic Crusade is done. And we are victorious. And look at all that money. <laughs> look at all that prestige. Look at all that piety. Look at all of all of that. Praised. Okay. God has granted King Vervethir of Riothiniad victory in the Crusade against Jerusalem. Just that here for the Ayur Empire has been beaten at every turn through the war. Okay, we have granted the new lands of Jerusalem to Gilwam, Juliem, the Blois. Pope has made announcement about the victories, virtue, all that good stuff. Very good. So we don't have to worry about any of what is going on down here, because it was all given to him. Did oh yeah there we go our kinswoman actually got the title down here so we can now finally turn our victorious crusaders home actually what we're going to do we're not going to stand them down instantly we're going to take care of that raiding party there Oh, we can usurp a title, the Duchy of Hampshire. I believe we shall do that. Just that. What do you belong to anyway? Duchy of Wessex. Who? What? What is the Duchy of Hampshire? Oh, we have the Duchy of Wessex. He gets the Duchy of Wessex. How do we hold it? What do you belong to? Duchy of Kent. I 
many troops can we field these days? Not many, but we're also replenishing. Not going to intervene. Oh, look, we've gotten the Sword of the Lord title. Okay, with all that money, there's only really one thing to do. We need to construct a great work. And we can't build this thing because it costs 18,000 to build. Art thou joking? Oh, how much are these? 1,000. Now, 1,800, not 18,000. Roofed keep. Okay. Roofed keeps for construction. Where are we at? Roof keeps. You could do that. Let's do that. So now we can build. Oh no, we need both. Can we do both? No. Sadly. Both. Alright, so what can we build that actually makes a bunch of sense? A grand mausoleum? Yeah. Great library. Magnificent garden. I like to have a royal palace. Disease resistance. Ultra technology. Ultra technology. Local revolt risk. Prestige. Trade value. Local tax modifier. That's not a bad one. A great arbor. And cathedral. The statue. Grand fortress. I think we'll go with the great arbor. We'll build that here. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And we'll use our friendo here to speed up construction, our dear son. Good, so let's... How are we religiously anyway? Very homogenous, except for down there, Sussex. Oh. He's... Catholic. He's a good girl. Scottish Norwegian de jour war over Albany. All right, we'll join ya. Fine. We'll bring in our crusading armies. They will hopefully be enough to help you out. There they come. Uh, let's send them here. Let's check what we can build. Another keep level. Oh yeah, that was like, expensive. Let's build the expensive levels one. Now, now we're talking. Spend all that crusader money. Speaking of all that crusader money, we are now a king. So if we have another smith, we should get better stuff. And I think we can get a bunch of better armor. Oh, man. That sounds like a good idea. We'll land here. Really? What are you even good for? Let's immediately attack the Norwegian king and his army. There. How many troops do you have? Not a lot. Good. So now we siege this. And we can stand down our ships. We're home again. Loyal. Let's make Scotland great again.
Fine idea, Marshall. Let's have the armor smith. And us create something sturdy. The best quality armor you can make. Spend the money. We got it now. We are crusader rich. And yes. Fine. You can talk to the man. Another... What's happening here? Girl, did I not get you someone? I thought I got you someone. Let's get the prince of the Holy Roman Empire in a matrilineal marriage. I will certainly accept your call to arms. Oh, look at that! Scotland is winning something! Sort of. They done did it. Brand. Good news, my king. The armorsmith has informed me that's pre more precious metal. Sure, let's, let's get the precious metal. That's fine. Oh, we're at war with England. That's fortunate. We are in England. We can actually go and help soon. Okay, so... With this armor, I shall be a champion. Indeed. Champion was added to our treasury. I think they all kind of have the same thing. Oh, would you look at that? We have the champion. Or the armor of the cross. And we're wearing this thing, this old thing. Instead of this amazing thing. Bell of Saint Paul of Tarsus. Quality 4. That's high quality stuff there. Alright, let's keep sieging the good stuff here. And then we'll join the French. Actually, you know what? Uh, one here really has any troops. We'll just siege a little bit more. Norway is almost done. We just need to contribute a little bit. Oh, let's check factions. Seeing any factionalism going on? By you. On independence because you're that one little piece down here completely lost in the world. I understand. I understand your wish. Okay, our son is Midas touched. But he is unlanded. Which is definitely a bit of a shame. Will you be getting this at least? I hope. Or We'll just keep finishing the sieges here, and then we... Very good, Albany is now in Scottish hands again, and we just moved on here to siege a bit more. I have lost track of time, by the way. This, this has dragged on real long. We fought and won a crusade, and we were crowned, finally, and we're doing great as a military leader. Things are working out and looking up for Wales. Now we just need to... Figure out how to uh, get more of our kids into ruling positions. But we'll, we'll manage. I have an idea. 